What's up guys, it's Field Eraser and welcome back to Minecraft Mechanisms. I've got something pretty cool to show you guys today. Today I'm going to show you the lava trap. Whoa! <laughs> so you guessed that today is a pretty cool way to troll your friends with a lava pit trap and I'm going to show you how to make one of these right now. So if we reveal the mechanism itself underneath, it's not that complicated a mechanism. It's just some pistons and some redstone covered by a few slabs and sand. And at the bottom of it, we have a, I think it's a four deep lava pit. So you can, re you can reuse it a few times before you have to get all the sand out. So let's go into our little chest we have here. We have everything we need. Sand, sticky pistons, leather, redstone, redstone repeaters. Two buckets of lava, sandstone, and some slabs, which I'll show you why we need the slabs in a minute. First thing you want to do is go over and make yourself an infinite lava pit. You only need two buckets of lava. I'm on creative right now, so it's not going to really work. But what you need to do is you put one lava bucket here, and you put the next one here, and they both flow towards the center, creating an infinite amount of lava for you to scoop out. Okay guys, first thing you want to do is break down six. So figure out how big you want your hole to be. Mine's only going to be two by three. And you want to break down six. So that's one, six. Next thing you want to do guys is break down two and out two on each side, which is where the pistons and the blocks which are going to hold the sand are going to sit. Then you can go ahead and place them in. Pistons facing in with a block of sandstone. Then what you want to do is break out two again. Okay, so we're going out two again. And then we're going to go down three. Now, the reason why we're breaking down three is so that we can wire it up with our redstone properly. So what you want to do is go ahead and build up in the middle there. Just by one. Then you want to put down your redstone wiring, feeding in to the pistons. Now, the way we get these to work is just at the front of the wiring, on the same level as this redstone, you want to go ahead and put a block just to separate it all. Now each stream is either running into the piston directly or into the block below it, which will send it a charge. Okay? Next thing you want to do is get our handy half slabs and just put them on the top layer of both of these so that the sand will sit on top of them, otherwise the sand will drop down one more level. Okay, just come along and do it on this side as well, and that also won't break off your redstone circuit. Next thing you want to do is connect both circuits. So we build down on one side, all the way across, and you can just feed your redstone all the way through until it reaches the other side. Now what we do here is just fill it all back up with sand. And before we forget, we want to put a nice lever right here and close up the circuit. Next thing you want to do guys is fill the pit with lava. And you want to make sure you don't get lava in your circuit. So just go the block below your sandstone itself and just fill each side with a good amount of lava until it's full. Now don't worry about blocking your lava, you'll get a few uses out of it before the lava starts to choke on the sand. Because the sand is affected by gravity, it will drop all the way to the bottom of the hole, as you can see. The last thing you want to do guys is close your hole, fill it with sand, and troll your friends. All right, guys, so here we have what looks like a castle gate. And if you've seen my previous Minecraft Mechanisms episode, the uh, piston-powered fence gate, then you'll know what this is. And then you've got your friend knocking at the door, and it's like, oh, buddy, can I come in? Yeah, sure, mate. Nope. And then they burn. And that's it, guys. That is the lava trap. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'm the Field Eraser. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.